So in my never-ending hunt for Oculus Rift DK2 enabled games, I found this. A game called Time Rifters, available on Steam, and it's a game about going around with guns and shooting blocks and then doing it over again with yourself. A single player co-op kind of thing where you create ghosts that you can then use to help you clear out the levels. But I'm not really here I'm not really here to tell you what it's about. I'm sure you can find someone more eloquently equipped to do that for you. Uh, what I'm here to tell you is that you can climb. The game has a jump function, actually it has a double jump function, you can jump and then jump again. And the game has lots of different uh, blocks sticking out of a lot of its levels. Which allows you, unless you fall off, to actually climb out of a lot of the maps. And this is, this even applies to the main menu. This is the main menu screen right here. And as you can see, I've managed to climb my way all the way out of the map and onto this roof kind of section we have here. And if I just jump across and then over here, we find a rainbow thing. Which is rather cool. And you can see back inside the map the air. Uh, it's pretty interesting. But more importantly, you can see this. Big tower. The big scenery that you could see from the main menu. Or what you thought was scenery. Turns out you can go right up to it and, well you can climb it. I say you can climb it, that probably implies you can climb to the top. In fact, you actually can't. And uh, there's no need to show you the entirety of the footage, but I will show you some. It's very, very painstaking and a bit fiddly, but you can actually manage just to double jump all the way up and take hold of these different ledges that are sticking out, protruding from the face of this wall. And uh, you can actually get up a fair distance just through this method. Some of it seems a bit impossible, you have to like jump out of the wall and then jump back in using the double jump, so it's defying gravity a bit and you have to steer yourself, you know, with whatever boosters you have on this big suit. But you can actually get from all the way down there to about here, uh, halfway. You can get to about the halfway mark and then you can't progress anymore. I was up there for five minutes straight, couldn't progress any more than that halfway mark. But when you jump off, it actually takes you all the way to the top anyway. And there's this picture on the wall, which is, coincidentally, the final boss in the game. Or, well, it looks pretty much like the final boss in the game. And it's also a character that you see throughout the game. But the game's not very long, so it's hardly a spoiler to tell you that. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's... I just wanted to share this with you. You can climb up the tower. If you jump off the tower, uh, presumably you have to be up a certain amount in order to actually fall to your death, or, well, you end up falling past this rainbow bridge that we saw earlier. And you can do it any number of times, and you will actually just respawn back up here. The picture doesn't do anything, it's just there, it's just an image that you can look at, it's all nice and pretty. And that's it, that's just one of the weird secrets of many that this game has. Uh, I was up here for another ten minutes or so, trying to find a way actually on top of the thing, but no, it didn't work. So there you go, that is that. Just wanted to show you this. And in the future I might actually make videos of this game, who knows. Time Rifters, available on Steam. Currently, like, £6 if you get it in the 10% uh, off deal. Really, really freaking good as well. The game itself is actually quite fun. <laughs> Not just the uh, climbing out of the map bits. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.